Hey everybody, what I want to do today is start a video blog series on about electronics engineering. And I know there's lots of them out there, but my goal is to do it for someone stepping into electronics engineering or just wanting to do it as a hobby. So really from the beginner's outlook. So I figured the best place to start off is to state why I got into electronics engineering. Now it's sort of like a long story, but I figure it goes, goes back to my childhood and I was born in the late 80s, so electronics were really present in my upbringing, I guess you can say. I mean, my first serious contact with the electronics engineering and practical application was the Nintendo NES. And it was an awesome little toy as a kid. I remember just being completely captivated by this thing, just spending hours on this. And you know, when you actually beat it, it was just it was a lot of fun. And it was just my first outlook on what electronics engineering can actually do for the world. And I mean, you couldn't beat the graphics at the time. The 8 bits, so solid. And then from there, you know, the toys got better as we got older. And uh, my next big toy that I got that really impacted me as a kid, I got it when I was about 12 years old, was a Lego Mindstorm. And what it is, it's PLC Lego. So like basically programmable logic control. And so what I could do with this Lego is use motors and stuff so it could power motors. And then it could also power motors when I wanted them to be powdered. So basically there was light sensors and touch sensors and a whole array of uh, capabilities. And I was able to make little robots. And these robots were next pointless to anyone else, but to me they were awesome. You know, having a robot that goes to the edge of your room and back. It was really basic at the time, but to me it was just amazing, an eye-opener of just how cool electronics can be. And as I got a little bit older, I started getting into guitar work. And uh, I started playing guitar, and then I got my first electric guitar and my first electric game. It was amazing to hear those tones like reproduce so loudly and like, vibrant. And then I got my first pedal, and it was an overdrive pedal. And the first time you hit that overdrive pedal and you hear that distorted, edgy, raw sound, it was just amazing to see what electronics could do to an actual guitar sound wave, and then amplify it and blow it out of proportion. And then one of my buddies was telling me I should get a tube amp because that's where the good sound comes from. So I followed suit on that recommendation and I got a tube amp. And once you hear what a tube amp is capable of, that beautiful hum, if you will, it's unreplicatable unrepl like, by any solid state technology. And I really became captivated about what guitar amps could do. So at the same time as all this uh, guitar work was coming on and stuff like that, I discovered YouTube and I was amazed what programming could do. Uh, like it was good for a laugh when you just wanted to watch funny fails or it was good to learn something if you wanted to see how something was done. I mean like I learned how to tie a tie from YouTube so it's just amazing to see what YouTube could actually do to us. You know impact our world basically. It was just such an open thing and that's one of the reasons why I want to do the video blog is because I want to contribute what was contributed to me if that makes any sense. And from there, after uh, guitar sort of phased out, if you will, I played less because I went to school for manufacturing and engineering, which is basically the hybrid program between mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. It's sort of bringing the two together. And it's a really unique thing. You can use like hydraulics and stuff. So it's a lot of like real world applications of like factory settings and all this. But we got to this one class and it was called industrial automation. And it was beyond captivating for me. I remember the first time I walked into the lab and we had this factory, miniature factory if you will, that was all pneumatics and what it did was it sorted out these discs and there were six different styles of discs. There's metal discs, white discs, black discs and some had holes, some had not. And basically what it did was it sorted out these little discs and it was just sort of a really cool thing to see. And then as you start studying about learning how the electronics were capable of sorting out all these little discs. It was really unique and I really became captivated by what was capable by doing this. So I just studied and then I got really into it and when I graduated I never really left school. I stayed back and I went for electrical engineering and that's how I came to be in this field. So this is going to be my first video blog and I don't know how often I'm going to do them. I'm going to aim for every two weeks just because I'm still a student and sometimes, you know, some weekends I got a cramp. But thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.